Okay, hello, welcome to my um, second PHP tutorial. Today we'll be making a user registration using um, uh, structured query language. Okay, so first we're going to start off with our regular beginning tag. Just like that, we have the 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 left tag less than symbol question mark PHP and then we're gonna have to do some connecting we're gonna connect to our database here so host equals for now we're just gonna keep it localhost and then our database username will be um, money sign DB user and we'll just call that right now user and then our db password will be money sign db pass and now for now we'll just keep it pass and then we're gonna do db name for the database name and we'll call this user yes we're gonna call this user 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 pass user okay now we're gonna connect to the database we're gonna do connect connection how about that what I want to do equals my squall like this connect and we're gonna do host comma DB user DB pass okay end it like that hang on <laughs> I get I am the lot here pepper okay so and I put another one here and then db and we'll do my squall select a db and we'll do db name comma connection and connection is this whole line here okay and then we're going to create post datas so we're gonna like do this grab data from form okay so then we'll do um, username equals post user name and then pass equals post password okay and then email equals post email and then we'll do IP equals post IP and that should we all need for now okay that page I just showed you is what I need to give you guys information off of okay now I want you guys to go into your PHP my admin so we're gonna open up our server here and we're going to PHP my admin a little slow because of Camtasia. Okay, so now we're in here. And right now I'm just going to create a new database. I'm going to call it world. User. Unless I don't have one that's called user already. Okay, so I can create one called user. So now we're going to go into that. And um, I want you guys to click the word SQL. Okay, and then you guys are gonna want to copy this information, and I will include this um, on the left. And then just copy into there. If you get any errors, then you shouldn't. So, okay, see, your squall query has been executed successfully. So now, if we click there, hang on, I'm gonna change database. Okay, so now I'm at user, and we've successfully created this part. Now you can't hit browse because there's no one in there yet. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here, and we have all that set. Okay, now we're gonna use the if else function, or the 
else if. So if, let's see, username equals equals false or pass equals equals false. Oh, also, you're going to want to do this. Pass confirmation. And that will be pass conf. Okay, and then or or and then pass conf equals equals false email equals equals false. And there's no way the IP can possibly be false. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to do echo off Please submit all data. How about please fill in all the required fields? Okay. And then we'll end this off. But we're gonna do another if here. So if if pass doesn't equal pass conf. We'll do echo passwords do not match. And then we're going to go into the else if. Now we're actually we're just going to do else, believe it or not. Else. Now we're going to copy the connection again, like so. I'm going to come down here, and we're going to do SQL equals, then we want to do this, insert into user, and we're going to go back to here, and we did username, password, email, and IP, so we're going to do username, comma password email comma IP and then, then we're gonna do values username pass oh, we just called it name I'm sorry pass email and IP okay and we want to do this then we're gonna do result equals my squall query squall just like so and then we're gonna echo off thank you for registering thank you for your registration to your site name dot com and then we're gonna end it like this and then we're gonna save this part we're gonna go back to here we're gonna do reg and this will be do reg dot php just like I called it save then we're going to create a new text document. This will be the form. First, we're going to select the IP. So start off with the beginning tag, like I have with that, and then make something, make a field called IP. This is a variable, and we're going to select your IP directly from this browser, and just end it like that. So you will have. Um, less than um, question mark PHP um, money sign uppercase I uppercase P space equals space money sign underscore capitalized server um, left bracket capitalized remote underscore capitalized ADDR meaning address and then a right bracket semicolon and we're going to end it with the question mark and the greater than symbol. So then we could, you could go come, come down another line here. Form name equals red. 
Okay, and then action equals do reg dot php. And then method as we supplied. in the other one was post, so I don't know where that went. Here, let me open that up just so we could have a reference. Okay, see this? This is our reference here. I'm going to push that over there. <coughs> so then, I like to make um, everything so easy. So we're going to do border equals zero, cell spacing equals zero and cell padding equals 2. You do not need to include anything else that I'm typing here. Okay, you're going to want to include um, the... Here, I'm going to do this without a table, just in case you people do not know what a table is, or how to create a table. We're going to do username colon and then opening tag type equals text name equals username. Okay? And then do a break. And then do password. And then do input type equals password. So the password letters come up as asterisks. And then here, break. And then confirm input type equals password so now we're going to come back to here pass conf and this is what we're going to call that pass underscore conf name equals pass underscore conf break and email and then input type equals text name equals email break it and then we're going to do it a hidden input type equals hidden name equals IP and value we're gonna echo off our um, what we had up here this we're, ec we're actually echoing off the variable into a valued form and then we're gonna end it do not do a break there because that's just gonna look a little tacky input type equals submit and then value equals register Okay, and then we're going to want to end the form, like so. Okay, we're going to save this as register.php. You don't have to, you must call this one PHP because it has an include of PHP. Okay, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like, the one we just made. Register. It looks very stupid. <laughs> so, um, I like, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to making something look neat. So I'm gonna make a table out of this so you can see this. You can copy this if you want. And then like this, tr, td, td, get rid of the space, get rid of this will be another tr, td. Get rid of the break. TRTD. Now, right now, we're going to go down here and show you what the tabled one looks like. It's nice and neat now. It's much neater. And then if you could look at the source code here, you're going to actually see how the IP will show up. Value equals 127.0.0.1. It would show my real IP if um, I actually did upload this on a website not just using localhost now since I have not actually made the the username table inside my localhost I am just going to show you what one can look like
So we're going to go to my other website, csblog.net. You do not have to have this stuff here, so you get rid of that. Username, I'm going to call myself Bob1. And my password will be hello. Now I'm going to skip over that, confirm on purpose. And I'm going to insert my email. This is not a regular one, I always track it. And then register. You don't have to go with that. Then it's going to say, please enter in all the information. So we're going to go back here. Hello. Hello. Register. Thank you for registering. You can now sign in. Now I'm going to show you something here if the passwords do not match. Hello and hell. Then we'll go register. Cancel. Your passwords do not match. Please enter them correctly. And then right now I could log in as Bob1 and my password hello. And not now. And you have now logged in. Your profile and whatnot is there. Number list, yada yada yada. And you have successfully created a working registration. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you look forward to the next one. Goodbye.